never spawn. Hi, my name is uh, Carl Magnus Trudson. I'm the uh, general manager of DICE in Stockholm, Sweden. Yeah, the beta is coming out now next week. Uh, we're really, really happy about this, naturally. I know that some people say it's coming in a bit late, uh, but I mean, we're still happy to put it out there. It's a very important thing to us to get this out there and to have a lot of people try both the client, but also the server and the back end for us. Um, we are going to be able to uh, fix bugs, etc. that people find. But what's also very important here is that when we launch Battlefield 3, that is just the start. We're going to take care of this probably for quite some time afterwards. So the feedback that comes out during the beta can really help us get an early start on fixing anything that we feel that is appropriate and that the community wants us to look into. Yeah, I know that some people have said it's coming in a bit late, uh, but I mean, we're still happy to put it out there. It's a very important thing to us to get this out there and to have a lot of people try both the client, but also the server and the back end for us. Um, we are going to be able to uh, fix bugs, etc. that people find. But what's also very important here is that when we launch Battlefield 3, that is just the start. We're going to take care of this project for quite some time afterwards. So the feedback that comes out during the beta can really help us get an early start on fixing anything that we feel that is appropriate and that the community wants us to look into. Well, I mean, the team back home is working really, really hard on, on just fixing uh, fixing bugs, the critical ones, and getting the game ready into a state where it's shippable. So it might be the case where, since the, the actual code from the beta it needs to go through cert and all these kind of practical things, so it has a couple of weeks, it's, it's a couple of weeks behind. So there might be problems in that that we already fixed. If we find things that isn't fixed, then of course we need to fix it, if it's a critical one or something like that. Well, I think it's important for us to get as many people in as possible. Uh, and there's a quite a bit, has a bit of a hassle to actually, you know, handle it with codes, etc. If you want to get to a large number of people, so at some point we just decided, let's go with an open beta and have as many people as possible come in. For the people that have some special incentive, etc., they will do, you know, we'll give them early access into the beta instead. Battlefield 3, we've been working on this for a long time, especially if you take in all the time that we have uh, invested into the Frostbite 2 engine. Um, there's so many things that we are happy with, but at DICE we are very competitive and we always challenge ourselves to do more. We always strive for like quality, innovation and creating really fun games. Um, so it's always things that you look back at already now perhaps and you wish that, oh, we should have spent more time there, we should have done this, etc. But I mean, there's... There's uh, this time coming to uh, both see what we do post-launch with this game and then starting to look at the future titles, which we haven't decided yet what we're going to do. Uh, what's left to do, I mean, the, the team back home is working very, very hard and have been for a long time just to get the game ready. There's a lot of practicalities involved with shipping a game simultaneously on three platforms. You know, you have to go through research and all this kind of stuff that most people, most gamers don't really are bothered with. Um, so it's basically just the final polish, the final tweaks and a lot of bug fixing that's going on. The atmosphere is quite intense, I have to say. The team is really, really fired up, uh, but it's also very intense. When you have worked this long on something, um, you have a lot, there's a lot of nerves involved. Uh, there's a lot of things that need to come together. Uh, during the last month of game development, a lot of tough decisions needs to be made in order to, you know, hit the dates and, and get to the quality where you need to get. So there, there's, there's tension. There's just uh, a lot of energy, there's a lot of uh, high spirits, uh, but it's gonna, people are very, very eager to see this game come out and see, uh, see how it does. Well, I mean, the official response, I mean, I would say this, I mean, we're, we don't want people to look at some, excuse my friends, really crappy video stream in low resolution of our game. Uh, the team back home and I, we work really, really hard on this game to make it, you know, visually stunning. It should sound amazing. Animation should be great. You know, everything should be great about the game. We don't want people, honestly, to experience the game at a low res video like that. We'd rather have them see our trailers, come to events like this and play it themselves, or try out the open beta, etc. So, uh, naturally, we don't like leaks like that, but it happens uh, and we just have to deal with it. When I saw the leak, uh, <laughs> my personal reaction was probably, Okay, yeah, it was bound to happen, but uh, we, I would have wished that it wouldn't happen. I mean, we, 
Battlefield 3 is the sequel to Battlefield 2. You can, you know, it's not the direct sequel in time-wise, but it's the, definitely the spiritual successor of Battlefield 2. Uh, so we felt very, it felt very natural to us that when we did the first expansion pack that we actually would you know, use the, uh, the most played maps in Battlefield 2. And that's actually how we selected them. We just looked at the stats over which maps that was uh, mostly played. Um, and it, to us, you know, we, we love our own games. It sounds ego, but it is true. We, we at DICE would make games that we want to play ourselves and we have put a lot of hours into BF2. And seeing these maps relived and, and revamped with the Frostbite 2 engine inside Battlefield 3 is something we personally have been very excited about. So uh, we're definitely looking forward to uh, that pack coming out. We have a lot of ambitious plans for the post-launch of, of Battlefield 3. We haven't announced anything more than the, uh, the Back to Kokan pack, uh, but there will be more, yes. Well, I mean, we're super happy about being here today. We're definitely showing the game on all platforms here at the uh, Eurogamer Expo. People are getting hands-on with the 360 version. I know people have been asking for that for a long time. Uh, I'm super happy about that. I'm really excited about or excited about hearing more from the community what they think about the game. Uh, it's the final crunch time of getting the game out there. I hope to see everyone on the battlefield when it comes out.